Baby J Rock is here. It is time for the YouTube People's Champ to do another reaction. We got WatchMojo.com. 25 worst, well, 20 worst YouTube scandals ever. Highway J Rock has come back to YouTube. What is happening in in in, in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world, baby? J Rock is here, and we about to check out this WatchMojo.com top twenty worst YouTube scandals ever. Make sure you go and check out my other WatchMojo reaction. Uh, I think it was top ten moments athletes were caught cheating. That last one. The number one one on that one, yo, he could have killed somebody, bro. Make sure you go and check that out right now on the Great Ones channel. But we're not going to waste more time, baby. It's showtime. Hopefully I get this iMac, but also if you create a box and you refer it to a friend and your friend opens the box and they win something, you can actually make money back. Welcome to Watch Mojo, And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 worst YouTube scandals of all time. Look at her. She was always so happy. Always so happy. For this list, we'll be looking at scandals that plagued the YouTube community and made mainstream headlines, including everything from copyright infringement to disturbing prank content. Which scandal did you find the most shocking? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Hossein Zadeh versus Klein. You may know these parties better as YouTube personalities Bold Guy and H3H3 Productions. For those unfamiliar with the works of Ethan and Ela Klein, their two channels H3H3 and Ethan and Ela boast comedy skits, reaction videos, and YouTube criticism. When they reacted to a video uploaded by Matt Haas Zone, the channel's owner, Matthew Hossein Zadeh, didn't take too kindly to the slamming or their use of his content. You know, when you watch a porn, you endure this because you know it's going somewhere, but here it's like there's, yeah. no, there's no payoff. His lawyer demanded the video to be taken down, never spoken of again, and wanted $4,000 in compensation. The lawsuit continued, causing big names like Philip DeFranco and the Fine Brothers to band together to help fund H3H3's defense in the name of fair use. Number mm. 19, YouTube Heroes and Subscriber Bug. 2016 will go down as a write-off for just about everybody, especially YouTube. Throughout the year, many YouTubers saw a hefty dip in their subscribers and were understandably a little miffed. In response to the outcry, YouTube kind of admitted they didn't know what was happening, later saying it was a bug. What is happening, YouTube? I need answers. To add fuel to the rage fire, YouTube then came out with YouTube Heroes in September 2016, a program that would allow users to flag videos, report users, and assist in closed captioning. Basically, they wanted people to work for YouTube for free. In a sad twist of irony, the community backlash was so brutal that YouTube disabled the comment section on the video. Talk about a downvote. Number huh. 18, Marina Joyce fake kidnapping. In July 2016, what? this young beauty vlogger came under serious scrutiny. In a video about date outfits, Marina Joyce seemed to be behaving strangely. Click the link or click this right now if you would like to buy their clothes. Her fans immediately noticed she wasn't her normal energetic self and some even thought they could see bruises on her body. Many took these as signs Joyce was in danger, with some even speculating she was kidnapped by ISIS. The hashtag Save Marina Joyce quickly spread online, with fears escalating to the point that authorities visited her home. In reality, the video was just an awkward advertisement, and her bruises a result of a tumble in the woods prior to shooting the video. Whether this was a stunt Joyce pulled, the real deal, or just a lot of jumping to conclusions, it's still quite something. Number 17, the beauty yeah, racism scandal. Moves. What do they say about glass houses and throwing stones again? These beauty gurus could have used a refresher. In summer 2018, the beauty community was rocked by a racism scandal reported in Vox and the Washington Post. It all started with the fallout between makeup artist Jeffree Star and other beauty maidens. Gabby Zamora accused Star of being racist, but it backfired when followers dug up offensive social media posts from Zamora as well as Nikita Dragon, Manny MUA, and Laura Lee, who once advised black people to pull up their pants when running from police. 
The scandal led to Lee's infamous and widely ridiculed apology video. Let this be me. Number 16. Toby Turner's Allegations. Crocodile Famous tea. for his literal trailers and humorous music videos. Hooded man watches from a distance. Toby Turner, aka Tobuscus, came under fire in spring 2016 for accusations from ex-girlfriend and YouTube personality April F. Soon after, another of Turner's ex-girlfriends, Amelia Tallon, came forward saying that Turner had pressured her into using drugs and had also physically hurt her. Jacqueline Glenn, another ex, did speak out in support of Turner, though she also claimed that she often felt pressured, but not forced to do things during their relationship. In November, she posted again saying that Turner was incessantly messaging her and that she just wanted the whole ordeal to stop. Number 15, The okay. Ace Family. You ready? Yes. Let's do it. On the surface, the Ace Family YouTube channel portrays a luxurious and fulfilling family life that any normal person could only dream of. I will be the best husband and the best father that I will try to ever be. But search the internet using the patriarch's name, Austin McBroom, and the word scandal, and you won't know where to start with this channel. For one, Austin has been accused of cheating on his wife. Does your wife know that you cheat on her every weekend? Does she know that you message every single girl on Instagram? Assaulting other women and has faced lawsuits related to unpaid bills, namely the foreclosure of their $13 million mansion. He's also come under severe criticism for his problematic behavior relating to his own children. You guys ready for Saturday? Yeah! The family has been accused of scamming their audience with various membership programs and of faking ticket sales to their own events to inflate the appearance of success. All in all, it's a little baffling that they're still allowed to exist on the platform. Number 14, wow. Elsa Gate. Spanning multiple channels, Elsa Gate changed how YouTube monitors content. The foundations were laid in 2014 when Quebec City-based channel Webs and Tiaras began uploading videos featuring people dressed up as Elsa and Spider-Man in unexpected and disturbing situations. At first glance, the video seemed family-friendly and designed to draw in young viewers. But then things get weird and inappropriate. Then there was the channel Toy Freaks, run by a single father who liked to scare his daughters and show them spitting up food. The media was slow to react, but in 2017, a slew of articles prompted YouTube to delete thousands of videos and announce new guidelines. Number 13, yeah. Eugenia Cooney. Beauty YouTuber Eugenia Cooney has been controversial ever since her first video, due to her extremely thin appearance. In 2016, a change.org petition called for YouTube to temporarily ban her account, claiming she has a negative influence on young girls, some of whom say they want to be Eugenia Cooney skinny. Eugenia subsequently stated that she doesn't endorse being underweight, and YouTube refused to ban her account. This in turn sparked heated discussions around the extent of control and influence that people can or should have over others' bodies. To this day, her videos receive a significant portion of dislikes. Number 12, well, what? Nicole Arbor and Matthew Santoro. YouTuber Nicole Arbor is best known for her infamous Dear Fat People video, in which she harshly criticizes obese people. Dear fat people. Ah! Some people are already really mad at this video. She made more than a few enemies with her comments, all while gaining a lot of publicity. Did you expect to offend people? Are yeah. you surprised that one hundred percent, one hundred percent? However, she yeah. came into the news again for another YouTube-related fiasco. Matthew Santoro, who's best known for his factual list videos, posted a video revealing that he had an emotionally and physically abusive relationship. This person prevented me from leaving their home. I was hit in the face. In a video from January 2016 titled My Abuse Story, he talked about the relationship and the ensuing trauma. It wasn't confirmed that he was referring to Arbor until she posted calling him a little bitch and stated he was using her for attention. Real classy. Number 11, Leafy is here. For a while there, Leafy is here managed to make a career out of just ridiculing people on YouTube. Guess we're all good at something? In 2016, he decided to turn his mean streak onto autistic YouTuber Tommy NC2010, oh, come making on, fun man. of his appearance and behavior. In a tearful response, Tommy NC2010 claimed that Leafy's toxic fans were sending him death threats. All I wanted to do was inspire people. An iDubbbz content cop video soon followed, criticizing Leafy's repetitive and low-quality content. 
after which Leafy's subscriber count began to plummet. He stopped uploading content in December 2017, and YouTube isn't exactly worse off for it. Number 10. Drama Alert and the RuneScape Predator No one can stir up the drama quite like Keemstar of the controversial Drama Alert channel. However, sometimes he and the channel jump the gun, and in this case, someone got hurt. Drama Alert found a news story about a gamer named John Phillips using RuneScape to lure young women, and singled out Twitch streamer Tony as the culprit. Except he wasn't the guy. Tony soon received death threats and hateful messages, reducing him to tears. YouTuber Scarce entered the scene and called out Keemstar's lack of fact-checking, stating that the actual predator was still in prison and that Tony was an innocent man. Keemstar issued an apology video and offered the man money in damages, but many thought sorry wasn't nearly enough. I know the responsible thing is to acknowledge that we got this wrong. Number 9. The Channel Awesome Management wow. Controversy There's only so much that people will take. In March 2018, former Channel Awesome employees alleged mistreatment by the company's upper management. They accused the Walker brothers of being incompetent and failing to communicate with producers and alleged that the company fosters an incredibly sexist working environment. A few months later, a document titled Not So Awesome was released via Google Drive, detailing numerous further complaints. Channel Awesome brushed off the accusations, calling its former employees disgruntled and vindictive, making the situation much, much worse. When the dust settled, only four producers remained, where once there were 40. Number 8. Okay. CSGO Lotto, T. Martin and the Syndicate Project In 2013, Counter-Strike Global Offense became more customizable for users, giving them the option of skins. Soon, sites popped up giving users, no matter how old they were, the chance to trade and gamble these coveted items on Counter-Strike games on stream. YouTuber Honor the Call started noticing that Trevor Martin, known as T. Martin, and Tom Castle of The Syndicate Project both won a lot of money on CSGOLotto.com, which was used to win the in-game items. Oh my god! He then uncovered that Martin and Castle were CSGO Lotto's president and vice president, respectively, which they hadn't mentioned. Apparently, uh. these two have been allegedly faking gambling and also faking winning. What started as a mother suing the game's developer for allowing her son to gamble soon resulted in a class action lawsuit against Martin and Castle, who had broken the Federal Trade Commission rules. Number 7. Wow. The Micah Stauffer Family Scandal Family-themed YouTube channels always seem ripe for controversy. I, I am personally concerned for these kids. It is not okay to treat children like this. Daddy05 is one example, having had their channel terminated for causing mental damage to their own children. They would get but, excited when they would get a lot of views and was more for shock value. But the Micah Stauffer scandal involving her adopted son is one that's even more twisted and bizarre. In 2017, with some help from a GoFundMe, the Stauffers adopted a young boy from China whom they knew had autism. For several years, audiences got to know their son Huxley and how he was readjusting to his new life and family. Then suddenly, he disappeared from the channel's uploads, and the news came out shortly that he had been rehomed to a new family that supposedly was more able to suit his special needs. Do I feel like a failure as a mom? Like 500%. While some of their audience may have been sympathetic to the situation, the overall response on social media was one of shock and disgust, with many accusing the stoppers of exploiting the young child for content. Number, number six. Yeah, but they Sam don't Pepper's know. Sam killing know best fact. friend prank. Oh, help! 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 Former Big Brother housemate Sam Pepper is now most known for prank videos. In 2014, one of his videos <clears throat> featured him touching women without their consent, but a year later, he went to a whole new level. The video depicts Pepper in disguise kidnapping online personalities Sam Goldbach and Colby Brock, then forcing Goldbach to watch Brock get shot. Pepper was shocked by the horrified response, and Goldbach expressed the video's point about living life to the full. When petitions called for Pepper to be banned from YouTube, he responded with a GoFundMe page, promising to delete his YouTube account if pledges hit $1.5 million. By February 2016, Pepper began privatizing his videos and purging his Twitter account before re-emerging as a vlogger. Number 5. Huh. Shane Dawson and his jokes Shane Dawson just keeps piling it on. In 2012, Dawson thought it would be hilarious to perform in blackface at VidCon. It wasn't. 
and he apologized. In the meantime, though, he'd joked, if that's the word, about Googling inappropriate topics relating to kids. He offered a quote-unquote justification for this behavior. It all resurfaced in 2018 when he was lambasted on Twitter. That same year, he copped criticism for his documentary on Jake Paul, in which he asked a marriage and family counselor if Jake Paul was a sociopath. Oh, and then in March 2019, someone dug up a clip of him talking about doing disgusting things to a cat. Number 4. TanaCon If Tana Mojo will be remembered for anything, it will be the utter dumpster fire that was TanaCon. When VidCon refused to brand Tana a featured creator, she created the self-named TanaCon in retaliation, hosting it at the Anaheim Marriott Suites on the same day as VidCon. The event was sold well over capacity, leaving fans stuck outside in the sun for hours. I got pushed by a cop. I got pulled by the hair by a fan. And when they got inside, the convention was little more than a hotel hallway with nothing to do. The gift bags given to VIPs consisted of wristbands and Tana condoms. Frustrated attendees compared it to Fire Festival, and security shut the whole thing down after just a few hours. Number 3. That's the crazy. Fine Brothers React World Best known for their reaction videos, the Fine Brothers announced plans in 2016 to license their format to creators and trademark the term React. We are excited to announce React World. Many saw this as a move to capitalize on what is a very common format, and the Fine Brothers were met with heavy criticism from both viewers and fellow content creators. YouTubers with reaction videos were slammed with copyright strikes or requests for compensation, and the yeah. Fine Brothers suffered a loss of around 675,000 subscribers. On February 1st, 2016, Rafi and Benny Fine halted the React World program and decided to face the music, but it's going to be hard to ever forget this bad business move. We were never trying to say that every video or someone reacts to something else is something we would try to control. Number 2. Hmm. PewDiePie's Racism Scandals 2017 was not PewDiePie's year. In February, the Wall Street Journal pegged nine of his videos as including anti-Semitic content and Nazi imagery. PewDiePie apologized while also claiming that the media had taken his jokes and statements out of context. Nonetheless, he was fired from Disney's Maker Studios for going too far. The following September, Pewds uttered the N-word during a live stream of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and had to apologize again, calling himself an idiot. Then in December 2018, he was called out for promoting ER, an anti-Semitic, homophobic, and sexist video essayist. Pewds said he wasn't aware of ER's controversial content, but many found it irresponsible that he hadn't looked further into the channel. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Likewise. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or Try. all of them. If you're on your phone, right now, make sure you go channel. into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Logan Paul in Aoki Gahara in the history of YouTube scandals, the time Logan Paul filmed someone who took their own life deserves a whole chapter. The video saw Paul and friends traveling into Japan's infamous Aokigahara Forest, a location that is said to house the ghosts of the dead. The group eventually came upon a corpse hanging from a tree. They filmed the body, their reactions, and then shockingly uploaded the whole thing to YouTube. The backlash was swift with even well-known celebrities chiming in. Sophie Turner called him an idiot, and Aaron Paul said he should rot in hell. I have, I have never quite witnessed anything so in humane and so compassionless and just with zero respect. The scandal and Logan's other antics eventually led to YouTube temporarily suspending advertising on his channels. Hmm. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. J Rock says this the things people will do for views, for subscribers, the, the links they will go, the content they will create, some of it is an extremely uh, creative, uh, a lot of it is just over the top. But at the same time, if they're getting views, people are watching it. So what does that say? That says that we're telling them to create this stuff so we can watch it, right? Um, yeah, a lot of the other stuff on there, 
some of it was just people jumping to conclusions like the girl that was real skinny um i mean if if, if unless she has gone out and says hey yeah be this skinny i don't really understand why people are upset with her like she's just skinny um you know and so as a parent, I can tell you firsthand, you gotta watch what your children are watching, especially on uh, YouTube, you know, cause a lot of times it'll be filtered. Yes, this is for kids, but a lot of the content creators are very, very uh, extremely smart in how they can try to, you know, get stuff in the video, past the, um, the algorithm. And so the, maybe the algorithm or the, the uh, the AI doesn't pick it up, but the kids see it. Got to be careful, right? Um, so, with that being said, uh, which one was the most shocking to you? Um, the one about them pranking and saying somebody got kidnapped, I would say that probably was the most shocking because I'm like, you're going to that extent to get views. Whatever. All right? Y'all do y'all. I, I, I ain't going that far. Right? But with that being said, your turn. Post your comments down below. Let J Rock know what you thought of his reaction to this video. No rhyme intended on that line. If you enjoyed the great one's reaction, hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Be sure you hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J Rock. Stay tuned for the next video. This way now. Mamba, GG, and Wakanda forever. If you swear, ow, what J Rock?